I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an armadillo. I take two fingers over here on the left and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, curve line over and let it float. Come back to the dot, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down, slightly curved line up and leave it floating because right about here we're going to draw a big curve line out, down, and leave that floating. Come back to the front, we're going to draw curve line down, curve line over, curve line up. We're going to draw another curve line over and leave it floating. Come back to this top part on the right and we're going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect, and come over on this point and we're going to draw a curve line in and leave it floating. Right about here midpoint we're going to draw a big curve line out and down, leave it floating. Come back over here and we're going to draw a straight line down, a curve line over, and a curve line up connect. Right about here we're going to draw a curve line over, leave it floating, come back on the top part of here and we're just going to draw a curve line down, curve line over, connect, come back to the top, curve line down, curve line over, connect, one more, curve line down, curve line over, connect, and right at this point a slightly curved line out, up, in, connect. Come back over here on the bottom. We're going to draw a curve line over, up, connect, curve line over, up, connect. Come over here on this side we're going to draw a curve line down, Curve line over, up, connect, right here on the inside, curve line over, curve line up, connect. Right here let's put a dot and down here let's go one, two, three little straight lines, one, two, three little straight lines, one, two, three little straight lines, one, two, three little straight lines. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, my armadillo has armor. So we're going to put very lightly some purple baby circles on the center part. Let's do some purple circles on the top. Let's do some purple circles right here this whole section is going to have some purple circles also. Now this is my first layer of color. I'm doing it lightly, not real dark because we're going to put another color over it. Now bring it down this way, purple circles, purple circles in each one of these spaces. There we go. Alright, now I take my brown and I go over with a light loop-de-loop -loop all of my purple circles. So you get to see some texture made with color on each one of these spaces. Come up and do it on this space, bring it down, over, up, over, down, and do each one of these spaces. Now some people might use gray, some people might use a different color gradation to get this 
armor look. I use purple and brown. Okay, once you've done that, if you have a light tan or a light brown, you can use just your regular brown and color lightly. I think this is peach, a multicultural crayon, and you color in this space all the way up, down, and over. Okay? Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fat green crayon and I'm just going to add some color. Not a lot, just a little. And green. Okay? That's all. Armadillo. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my armadillo all colored in. Okay, 